Hi there, so here I am in the back end of my Kajabi website. So this is part two of how to automate staying in touch with your prospects. So people who have said, yes, I'm interested in your services, but I'm not ready to buy yet. This is how we keep in contact with them. So in the previous video, I showed you how I batched out my email content, dated it, what day it was gonna go out on, call to actions, all that sort of good stuff. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I do with those emails in terms of scheduling them. I'm only gonna schedule one, otherwise we'll be here all day doing it. This will just give you an idea of how I do it. So once I've done it once, I'll just repeat the process over and over again. So I'm in Kajabi. This is where I also host my coaching program. If I click on marketing, so I'm on marketing, <coughs> up comes email campaigns. Uh, you can see some previous ones I've sent out. I'm gonna click on new email campaign. I'm gonna click on email broadcast, continue. I'm then going to select a theme. Uh, I'm going to select this one here, which is a, a newsletter theme. So let me click on that one to get started. Uh, title, uh, this one, let me just go to what I call the first email. It was uh, your personal energy crisis. So this is going to be going out on the 4th of April. Uh, as of the time of this recording, it's uh, Monday the 28th of of uh, March okay so that goes in there that's lovely jubbly now why is that saying that so title put that in there so that should let me just cancel that for a second so click on that get started uh, that's fine uh, use the template so create so that will fire up, everything's looking good. So here it says who will receive this broadcast. So I have people on my database who have actually bought services from me. So what I've done is I've segmented out to non-members main. So that basically means uh, those people who have not bought from me will get this email and that's exactly how I want to get this email. I don't want to be sending this email to people who've already purchased from me. I'll send them different information. So here we go. Um, the title, again, I'm gonna pop the title in there. Let me just go back to where it was. Your personal energy crisis, copy on there. Go in, subject title, paste. So that's the title in there, brilliant. Then I'm gonna go in and sort of edit this content here. So I'm just gonna go back to the main email. <clears throat> and it is a bit fiddly, this, you know, and it does, as I said to you in the previous one, this can take me about an hour to do it all possibly, sometimes less. Uh, but you'll be able to gauge it by the length of time it's taking me here and I'm, I'm talking as well so I'm not fully concentrated on what I'm doing to be honest so let's give this a title and I'm going to title this one the same as what's in the header um, what did I call it uh, your personal energy crisis okay so uh, make sure you're getting that in there so I need to come across here to do this. So it's your personal energy crisis. I should spell correctly. Delete. That's all good. Then I'm going to come in here and delete a lot of this stuff here. I always delete it until the, the first letter and the last letter. Then I post my stuff in there so the font stays the same and then I'll delete the G and the R in a second. So here we go. That sort of stuff has been copied. So right click, copy, go back in, drop the cursor in there, paste it in. Lovely. Scroll to the top. Now I always start off with hi. And then first name. So this first name basically is the name that's going to be uh, appearing for the client. So if their name's Jenny, it will say hi Jenny or Jean or whatever that person's name is that they use to sign up for my gift to get onto my database. So I can scroll through here and look at how it looks. So it's all looking good. It's all laid out nicely. So I need to do something with the bits and pieces down here. Look. So let me go back in here and edit. So I'm going to go back in, scroll down, right to the bottom where the call to action is, which is here, C2A, CTA, so we can delete that, 
which is here, look. So when I delete it, you'll see that vanish. See that's just gone. So it says, um, if you're like most people and have noticed your energy levels drag in throughout the day, let's jump on a call to see if my coaching and telemetry program would be a good fit. So I'm going to put in here, click, click here to book your free no op, no op vacation call with me. So where I've got click here, I need to make that a live link. So I'm going to go to my Calendly, so my Calendly scheduler, copy that link, go back into Kajabi. Um, I'm just going to click on here, it says insert the link and up will pop a little box where I can drop the URL in for my Calendly. Paste that in there, OK that, and we're good to go. If I scroll down, this will be a live link now. I can save that. You can see it's underlined it now. So when the person uh, clicks there, click here to book your free. And I could have actually made this whole line uh, live if I wanted to. I haven't, I just made it click here to book. So that's it, ready to rock and roll. That's the first email. So what I now need to do is schedule that. So that is all good. So I've saved it. Just go back, uh, go back. Uh, schedule email, so I'm gonna do that now. I've got the title in there, which is all good. I've got the headline in there, which is all good. Just wanna quickly double check the things out of, oh yeah, look. So here's something I've missed out. Um, because of my haste, I need to go in there and delete some of this stuff and change that button there. So this is what happens when you're trying to record a video and um, make it make some sense. So there, I want to delete that section. So that's going to go here. I want to delete that section as well. That's gone. And then this button here where it says read more, so what I'm going to do here is turn that into a button where they can also book their free consultation. So I click on that edit. <clears throat> I'm going to change that from read more. It's now going to say to, it's already pre-populated to book your free uh, wellness discovery call. Click here. So I'm going to change the color of that to my corporate colors. Save. I need to change this URL in here. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to Calendly, make sure I've got the right link, copy, come back in. Back in here, paste, save, and we're all good to go now. So we've got a click here, and we've also got a click here as well for them to book a call with me. So let's go back to where I was, which is where I was about to schedule. So schedule email. So schedule, save and continue. So I could send it right now. I don't want to do that because this is going out on the 4th of April. So schedule for later. So I click in here. I go forwards to April, April the 4th. That's good. I like my emails to go out early in the morning. So it's going to go out at, um, in fact, now rubbish. My emails on a Monday, I send them out. Um, I send out a Monday morning email for my YouTube videos at quarter to six. This one's going to go out at six in the evening, so 6 p.m. in the evening. So 6 p.m., April the 4th, apply, confirm, and you'll see there it is. It's scheduled for April the 4th to go out at 6 p.m. And I'll do that with the other seven emails that I have got on this list of pre-prepped emails all the way through until Thursday, the 28th of April. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions at all, do reach out to me. Again, just to remind you, I am a personal trainer, but I also help personal trainers who would like to get into the weight loss coaching space. I quite literally show you the stuff that I have done that's been successful for me. Things that I used to teach my staff as well when I used to run my offline facilities. I teach you exactly the same stuff to get you up and running in a relatively uh, fast period of time. There should be a link uh, below this video to a page that will tell you more about what I have to offer, where you can book in a call with me if you want to have a chat. Uh, but until then, take very good care and bye for now.